Have you ever wondered what it would be like to witness a massive predator, bigger than a T-Rex, swimming through ancient rivers like an oversized crocodile? Well, let me tell you about one of the most fascinating discoveries in paleontology, the Spinosaurus. Picture this, North Africa 95 million years ago. A creature emerges from the water, standing nearly 50 feet long, with a sail-like fin on its back reaching up to 6 feet high. Its massive jaws, filled with conical teeth, are perfectly designed for catching slippery prey. This isn't science fiction. This is the Spinosaurus aegypticus. But here's what makes this dinosaur truly special. For decades, scientists thought all large carnivorous dinosaurs were land dwellers. That was until they took a closer look at Spinosaurus fossils. The bone density was unusually high, similar to what we see in modern aquatic animals. Its nostrils were positioned high on its skull, perfect for breathing while partially submerged. And those weird paddle-like feet? They weren't for walking, they were for swimming, the most mind-blowing part. Spinosaurus didn't just occasionally dip into the water like some dinosaurs did. It was actively hunting there, spending most of its life in and around ancient river systems. Imagine a creature bigger than a school bus, moving through water with the grace of a crocodile, but with the hunting prowess of something far more terrifying. Recent studies have even shown that its tail was shaped like a giant fin, something we've never seen in any other dinosaur. This wasn't just some land dinosaur that could swim, this was nature's attempt at creating the ultimate aquatic predator. So next time you think about dinosaurs, remember that not all of them were stomping around on land. Some, like our friend Spinosaurus, were making waves in the prehistoric waters, showing us that life, uh, always finds a way, even if that way is completely unexpected. <laughs>